Hey, it's Tom, and today we're going to talk about Spotify API. So I was using Spotify a couple of years ago, and then I switched to Apple Music, but uh, I left a couple interesting playlists on my Spotify account, and uh, recently I thought that uh, it might be worth to just move them from Spotify to my Apple Music account, and I started looking for a solution, and it turned out that there are a couple solutions available, uh, but you have to pay for them. And I, I know that Spotify has an official public API, so I thought that I can try to do that on my own for free. And it turned out that uh, in this part I will show you how to export those uh, playlists and songs from Spotify to JSON file or any other format that uh, you might need. And in future video I will show you how to move them to Apple Music. Okay, so let's jump to the code. So um, I started looking for an uh, API um, that's provided by Spotify and it turned out that uh, they have uh, a lot of good examples uh, for uh, iOS, uh, they, they have even SDK for iOS, for Android and they have a lot of uh, libraries and examples for JavaScript and Python and uh, I thought that, okay, I can write a simple app in Node.js. But I thought, okay, maybe someone just did that in the past. And it turned out that, yes, uh, there is a very popular library uh, called, called Spotify Web API Node. And uh, we will use this library today because it's, uh, it allows us to do everything we want. So we want to uh, get all our user playlists and uh, all details about songs and then just uh, write them to a uh, JSON file or CSV file or any other kind of format file that you might need. So, okay, uh, let's start playing with the code. Um, at first, maybe uh, it's worth to, uh, to mention that you have to go to the developer.spotify.com and uh, um, create your developer account. It's, it's free, uh, you, you, you just have to accept uh, some, some terms and privacy policy and you see this kind of dashboard and you can create an app. Uh, I created my app, it's called Test App. <laughs> uh, it has a client ID, it has some details because uh, I was playing with, with, with this uh, app. As you see, there's only one uh, active user from Poland. What a surprise. Um, important thing to remember uh, while creating the app is providing the redirect uh, URL because uh, Spotify is using OAuth2 to authenticate and it just demands a callback URL and our library, Spotify Web API Node, uh, will, uh, will be hosting um, this this kind of uh, callback URL on our local host. So uh, we just have to provide a redirect URI, uh, URL uh, to localhost and port 8888. And uh, except from that, you just you don't have to provide any other data. Just uh, remember about the redirect URL and uh, that's it. Okay, so when you created the app in the dashboard, uh, you can just switch to your uh, note uh, app and uh, thanks to the examples available uh, on the library uh, in the repository they are somewhere here probably uh, tutorial or maybe that's it um, yeah this is called the uh, spotify um, it's probably access token refresh js Okay, I, I just uh, used this, this code, uh, changed a couple different things. Oh, maybe that's it. Yeah, this is this e example. It's called uh, get access token JS. So I just copied this part and called uh, index.js. Uh, of course, in our packet JSON, we have the um, Spotify web API node and Express because uh, we are hosting an app. Okay, and uh, the app just contains the scopes, uh, everything we want to get the access to the user. Uh, in our example, we can uh, leave only playlists part, but let's leave it as it is. Then we have to provide the uh, client ID, the client secret, 
and both of them can be found in your dashboard. So this is the client ID and the client secret is uh, presented here. So you just need to copy those values there. And uh, the redirect URI has to match the one that you provided uh, in the dashboard in your app settings. Then we just create a simple express. Uh, we get one endpoint that is a login endpoint. And it just redirects us to the uh, authorized URL. Uh, the, the library uh, is, is, is able to create the URL to authorize uh, us because this URL contains many parameters and all of them are uh, in general scopes encoded uh, to, to, as a web URL. And then we have the callback endpoint, which is uh, the most important in our case. And uh, in case of error, of course, we just log the error. Uh, otherwise, we just want the Spotify API to parse this data. And then we just want to get our access token, which is valid for like 60 minutes, probably. Uh, the refresh token, we won't use that because that's the very basic example. And uh, um, the time in which it, it will expire. And we will, con we will log all those files in our console. And in general, that's it. We just listen on the port that, that I mentioned. Okay, so maybe let's go to our console, node index, just run it. Okay, we can uh, open this in our browser. Okay, that's it. Um, success, because I, uh, I, I already uh, authorized this app on my account. So uh, I won't see the window, but in general, you will see uh, a big window with all, the uh, with, with all the things that you are allowing your app to access. Okay, and in our console, we'll see uh, that there is an access token and there is a refresh token and the time in which it will expire. Uh, yeah, 60 minutes, one hour, okay, uh, that's working. Okay. Uh, so we just have to copy the access token. Okay. Uh, we can just clear the console and stop the, the node app because we, we don't need that anymore. And we can switch to get me file uh, that was created by me. Okay. And of course, the link to this uh, file will be um, available in the description of this video. So in general, this is a simple uh, node file. So we will use the file system. We'll use that later to just save the, um, the data into JSON, the, our playlist. Uh, we just import the Spotify Web API library and we create a, a const that's containing the token. So then we create an instance of Spotify API object and we provide the token. And then we can, uh, there is a, get my data method called at the end. And there is the first method called get my data. And uh, in this method, we will just call the Spotify API to provide all data about our user in case we, we won't uh, know that. Okay, so note get me. Uh, get user playlists is not, oh, okay. This method uh, is not created yet. Okay, no worries. Okay, so as you see, we can get the, da the data. There is a country, there is a display name, there is an email, a uh, couple other um, things. The important thing for us is the ID that we will use later on to get the playlists. Uh, and we just have to copy that. Okay. Uh, so our next method that we will want to call is called uh, get user playlists. And I created it here. So this is also asynchronous method. And uh, we will call the method from the, from the library that's called get user playlists. And then uh, we can just uh, maybe just print those uh, playlists uh, as for now. And this will be the, the easier version. Okay, get me. 
okay we have uh one two three four five playlists uh rock workout uh music for work it's in polish run discover weekly and active okay so only uh those three were created by me the first the third and the fifth but anyway we'll just fetch all of them and then try to uh, write that uh, down in the file so the next method we want to call is the get playlist tracks and uh, that's this method it's um, it's a little bit more sophisticated so um, it's also provided by the library so uh, um, I didn't found any data about the limit of the length of the playlist that can be uh, fetched at once so we can just set the limit to be even 500 and uh, have offset one so we don't lose anything and uh, we want to get all the uh, tracks from the playlists and uh, we can uh, 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 okay we can just uh, log them uh, here we, we just create an array in which we will uh, put all the data but um, maybe maybe let's do it uh, this way just at first maybe just uh, let's print what we get and then uh, we'll see how to play with that further okay uh, invalid limit okay so it turned out that there is a limit in, indeed uh, maybe 100 is a limit uh, I don't know what because I don't create such a long playlists okay yeah it turns out that's it, that's working so um, this playlist contains uh, these tracks and uh, each object contains an object called track and uh, this is interesting object for us because uh, um, the items are some kind of meta objects for, for, for tracks it has the data of, of being created added by and so on and uh, we really what we really want to get is the track itself so for all those items we can uh, uh, get the track from from the track object and we can just log that down and uh, this should work uh, pretty cool right now I believe just give me a second uh, ls just okay there are no JSON files here and oh okay that's a lot of data yeah so we just printed out all, all objects from the uh, playlists and each song uh, is a is a pretty long and big uh, object it contains data about album from which it co uh, comes uh, the list of artists that were involved available markets and so on uh, there's also a, a name this is a polish name of the song and uh, we can just get the, the the first probably object from from the artists and okay this is it uh, uh, this method will uh, will return us everything what we really want and maybe let's comment out this one okay right now it should okay uh, we don't need as much data uh, so let's go back to the get user playlists and uh, maybe don't print that data uh, uh, tracks um, is a really big chunk of uh, JSON file so we can maybe okay let's maybe leave it as it is uh, give me one second just go back to as I created that yeah uh, those are pretty long playlists at least uh, those ones this one was created by 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 me They're only polish songs uh, anyway uh, we have the the track name 
So that's the title and uh, there's the first artist from, from the list um, because that, that's what we really need to create the playlist. Okay, uh, maybe turn off this. So when we get the whole JSON file, we may want to uh, um, save that into a, a JSON uh, file uh, in our current folder. So as I checked that before, less okay there are no suspicious json files and uh, i thought that it might be worth to just write all the data containing all the tracks uh, in a file called just playlist id and uh, dot json because uh, that might be just easier to to find out it uh, further in 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 future uh, so we don't save the the name actually but that uh that's not a problem, I believe. Or we can just change it. Okay, that should work, I believe. Uh, hopefully. Okay. Right now, uh, we can just uh, run this app. Okay, and hopefully, ls. Okay, uh, we have uh, uh, our playlists saved as JSON files. So we can even uh, check them right here, for example. Yeah. Uh, as you see, there is an, a big, huge, actually, JSON object, uh, which contains uh, uh, one key tracks, and uh, the value is the array containing all JSONs with all songs that's uh, that's in this playlist. <sighs> okay, uh, right here we just used file system to write that data into a JSON file. Okay, that's it. Uh, that's everything I prepared for you today. So thanks to this uh, little and simple script, you will be able to fetch all your playlists from Spotify and save uh, into JSON files uh, in your local directory. And uh, in future, I will uh, record a video presenting how to use this data to import those songs and playlists to your uh, Apple Music account. Uh, of course, link to this uh, repository will be in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time and see you next time. Bye.